This month, Kansas City is a basketball destination. Three college tournaments in just three weeks. As Jake Peterson reports, that means millions for local businesses. Hi, Lindsay. Well, the MIAA tournament just finished up at Municipal Auditorium. Downtown businesses can breathe a sigh of relief for about a day or two because of then what's next. Take a look. These signs, banners were just put up welcoming Big 12 fans for the, some of the first preps that we've seen for this tournament. Downtown businesses say the Big 12 means big bucks. It's great basketball down there. These guys come to play. It's Sunday, and it's winner take all at this year's MIAA tournament. But the crowds this tournament brings to the downtown is small scale compared to what happens at the Sprint Center a few days later. We're hoping for big things. Big things for the Big 12. Bar Louie manager Jason Lewis says events like MIAA help, but the Big 12 crowds means big cash. Weeks in advance, uh, we try to get the staffing we need in here, the right players in the right place at the right time. We'll go from you know running just a normal seating arrangement to doubling or even tripling our serving staff. Our bartenders. The Kansas City Conventions and Visitors Association says the Big 12 is the biggest week of the year for downtown restaurants and bars. If you were a restaurant who was going to be in the Power and Light District, if you don't open before Big 12, you're kind of silly. The Dubliner restaurant isn't even open yet, but they made sure they're open by Wednesday. It will be opening up with a bang. We had a huge liquor order, liquor, beer, and wine order in, so um, we're stocked and ready. Convention leaders say this tournament has an $18 million economic impact. Businesses will compete to get a piece of the pie. If you go in not nervous and you go in confident, then you know you can succeed. So no, we're not nervous. We're ready. And if you're a basketball fan, it's a win-win just to be in Kansas City. And Jack Harry will have the MIAA tournament results coming up in sports. Now, if you're a basketball lover, don't worry. After the Big 12, on March 14th, the NAIA comes here to Kansas City. So a lot of games to be looking forward to. We're live here in Kansas City. Jake Peterson, 41 Action News. Thank you, Jake. This Big 12 tournament also is going to be the last one for Mizzou. Last fall, the Tigers announced they are moving to the SEC. The move raised concern among city leaders in the Kansas City Conventions and Visitors Bureau. The contract for Big 12 Ladies Tournament at Municipal Auditorium runs through next year, and the Men's Tournament at the Sprint Center through 2014. The Convention Bureau says they are working to keep the contracts beyond that. There's probably more eyes on us this year than perhaps last year, and we'll make sure that we don't want to have any flaws that would give anyone an excuse or, or pause to say uh, or question uh, how, they're, how they're looking as we go forward. The Big 12 tournament brings with it road closures near the Sprint Center. Grand Boulevard between 13th Street and Truman will close at 10 a.m. tomorrow. 12th Street between Walnut and Grand, as well as Walnut between 13th and 14th, will close Tuesday morning. The roads will reopen at midnight on Monday. You can follow the Big 12 Tournament Bracket. Just head to KSHB.com and click on Sports.